welcome back. Today, we are revisiting the singer Devin Townsend. This particular performance came highly recommended, so we are going to watch him sing Deadhead live at Royal Albert Hall. Here we go. <laughs> I forgot how much I love his voice. There is, when he is in mid-range, it literally just sucks you in. Like, it pulls you in right in, right at your chest. It's just this warm, comforting, alluring tone that I love so much. And maybe part of that is because he, he doesn't give it all the time. You know, we've got this brightness that he'll incorporate sometimes and um, almost like an edge and a bite to his sound. And then obviously he's got all these other vocal effects that he can do. Um, let me see. Let me start that a little bit toward the beginning. Here we go. There. So that we got like some of that brightness that it's still very full, but it's just got this bit of this edge to it. I love it. when he did that last aw sound, it had a bit of texture in it, which I don't know if it was foreshadowing or not, but I wonder if he used that bit of texture to really make sure he was lined up where he wanted to be for this next vocal sound that he created. It's very smooth here. A little bit of texture. The 
the transition right there, we had three, I, you could easily say three different voices. Um, let me... that last line so it was very like nasally and very bright and um almost thin the first one and then he i feel like he used a little bit more backspace there and then less air so it was a little breathier like we're getting same word three different sounds was that was i getting like some overtones in there like it sounded so much higher than what the growl was giving hold on it was like uh, again, I don't know all the n proper names for these vocal effects, but uh, that sort of um, guttural like scream was what it started as, and then it felt like it was actually becoming a scream by the end, which is maybe what those overtones I was hearing were. I don't know if my grandma was right on that sentence. We'll keep going.
hold on. I know we're coming to the end, so I want to hear like every bit again. Those gorgeous, gorgeous tall vowels on the edge of, you know, that sort of classical tone. And then to just uh, rip into it with that grit and that growl and scream, whatever, whatever proper vocal effect, harsh vocal, I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but I like it. I was literally just thinking to myself, you know, I I feel like the other videos I watched, maybe I got to hear a bit more of his vocal ability uh, in those, and then that happened. love so much about this. Uh, the sound itself is incredible. The image we're getting, how close we can see um, everything happening. Obviously, you can see the space in his mouth, but you'll notice that tiny bit of groove um, in his tongue that makes me think. So usually that means you're utilizing a little bit of tongue tension. And I wonder if he's using that to help keep, not depress the larynx, but to help keep it low so that he doesn't end up letting the larynx rise and straining during these screams. I don't know if that's his technique, but it's fascinating to watch. just blown away by what that man can do with his voice. It is incredible. I am curious because this is my first time hearing this song. A lot of uh, a lot of the metal pieces that I've heard thus far, there seems to be a, a bit of a divide within each section. So you kind of expect, okay, this is going to have I'm going to use, I'm going to say harsh vocals. This will have harsh vocals. This will be, you know, traditional Western singing. Um, there's, there's a separation in sections. The way, the way he performed this, it sounds to me that it could go either way. You know, there were moments where I'm like, is this about to have an effect on it? Or is this going to be him singing? And so I'm curious if what he did here he does consistently or if he changes when he uses those effects when he has that texture and that grit um more so than when you know just that gorgeous a tall beautiful singing i don't know it would oh, so many things but when he was really like singing with that effect and then stretching so high into his range that was just that was something else i yeah i blah, 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 sorry i'm just <laughs> i have so many thoughts um i love the sim I'm going to say simplicity, not that the music or the instrumentation was simple, but in like listening back, just the calm that it provided to this particular piece. Um, it, it was very unique. It was. 
yeah, I'm sorry. I am just, I need to watch this a couple more times. Um, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for this recommendation and for watching with me. And hopefully I will see you next time.